I know this is already old news, but Joe Biden months ago, months and months ago, was claiming that he would have as his running mate a black woman. Not just a woman, but a black woman. And two days ago, Demon Crab Maxine Waters stated, and I quote, Joe Biden has to pick a black woman for him to come home, whatever the fuck that means. So, well, depending on what you think is black, he definitely picked a woman. Uh, the problem is, well, I don't know. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Is Kamala or Kamala, whatever, how in the hell you say her name, is she even black? Uh, see, here's the problem. Well, what is black? Like, what's, seriously, what's black? What does black mean? You know, back in the old days, if you had just a little bit of black blood in you, white people weren't fucking with you. They'd take your ass like, oh, you know, you go over there, you're black. No, you can't stay over here. And, you know, the black folks would be like, oh, yeah, you know, come on. Hey, come on over here, you're black, you know what I mean? Even though a lot of them didn't want to really deal with the uh, light-skinned Negro uh, back in the 1890s and 80s and so forth and so on. So, this demented fool of a man, uh, Joe Biden, who I necessarily don't dislike, but he's just an old, demented corpse of a body of a person. This guy is not long for the earth. He can't rationalize any kind of argument that he says. And he often trips over his own words and gets lost in stories. It's just like, he's like one of those old men. He's like that old man character from The Simpsons, the one that would sit down and every now and then he'd tell Bart and Lisa a story and it's getting all confused and they're looking at him like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That guy is that old character. So he picks a black woman in Kamala Harris, who I believe she was sworn into Congress as an Indian American woman. Can't just be an American woman. You, you, you know, Democrats always got to put a label on something because even though they don't want things or people to be judged on their race, they're always putting labels of race and judging people on their race. That's the hypocritical assholes that they are. So, this woman who is a product of an Indian woman and a Jamaican father who is biracial. So this woman is one-fourth black. Now, you can only divide the pie in so many slices until it's just decimated, so to speak. And I don't know if black people really consider her black. I think black people don't know because she does kind of have her father's nose. So her nose is a little bit white set, a little bit. So she looks black because of that. But if black folks start looking this woman up and, uh, and realize that she's only a quarter black, I don't think people are going to accept that. First of all, there is absolutely no energy in the Democratic Party. You know, I know some of you guys that watch my channel, you're Democrats, and to that I say you're fucking wrong. And who is going to want to go out and vote for this clown? I mean, it's just going to be another 2016 where nobody shows up to the polls. I actually believe that Trump is going to win uh, even more by a landslide than he did against Clinton. There's no energy. Nobody cares. Kamala Harris is the absolute worst vice president pick probably ever, or at least since Sarah Palin. You're talking about a woman who accused and brought up uh, Joe Biden's past about, uh, you know, uh, school segregation and busing, which, you know, it is true. Nobody really likes the busing program. It's pretty stupid. I mean, if you and your wife make a combined 200 grand a year and you live in a very nice neighborhood and you have your kids in a very nice school system, why in the living fuck do you want... Uh, fucking Michael coming from the fucking barrio or the hood or whatever you want to call it be bused 20 miles to your neighborhood so you can have these little fucking weirdos that grow up in squalor conditions around your kids hey call me whatever you want but it's you know it's true 
I wouldn't want my kids going to school with fucking thugs and fucking weirdos, you know. Anyways, so yeah, he was against the, the busing program, which, you know, I would be too. And to me, she is just not the black woman I thought that he was going to pick. I don't consider her black. It comes, it gets to the point of like where people like that are black purposely or particularly when they, when they're a mixed race, when they say like, oh, I'm black. And then, and then they try to change the meaning of what black is into more of a lifestyle than an actual um, construct of what your race is. And, you know, in my personal opinion, uh, she's not black. Uh, She's multi-race. She's mixed with black. She's also mixed with white and her husband is white she doesn't fit the mold and I think a lot of people when he picked her because when you pigeonhole yourself to where you can only pick a black woman as a running you're really just confining yourself to a very limited amount of uh, prospects and at the end of the day we all know Joe Biden is not going to fulfill his full term of presidency if he gets elected, which he's not. I give him about a one and a half percent chance, if that. He's not going to finish his presidential term. So we all know that Kamala Harris would be the president and I don't think none of us want that. I mean, we're talking about a woman who said that she believed Joe Biden's uh, rape and sexual assault accusers. He's already creepy. He's already weird. He's already old. He's already trash. I mean, again, I don't hate this guy. Uh, I don't agree with none of his politics. I just, I think he's a, um, a, a uh, just a weird, demented fool that is never going to be president. And that's it. The Democratic Party is in shambles. It's in ruins. There is no um, voice. There is no leader. There is no image of what they want for the future. The, the only thing they want for the future is grown men to be able to use the bathrooms with your daughters. They want that. They want open borders, illegal aliens coming through and taking over uh, everything. Uh, They want to give away free shit to people. All this kinds of uh, nonsense and crap, uh, and I don't really care for it. So, anyways, long story short, she's not black. Uh, He failed in that. Uh, They're going to lose by a landslide. So don't worry, guys. Trump 2020... Make America great again. Keep America great. And we'll have another four years of a great presidency. And then after that, we're going to have the next, uh, I predict, it's going to be a very dark time in our country the next 12 years after Trump is gone. Uh, It'll be into the 2020s, into the 2030s. So, Batten your uh, hatches and hang on tight. It's going to be a puppy ride, kids.